Glacier Dynamics is an Interact educational resource. The processes which determine the growth uh, and the loss of glaciers are very complex. But basically in the upper areas of the glacier, you have the accumulation zone where snow is accumulated, is transformed into ice, and gradually moves downhill under gravity to an area where the mass is lost in an area called a loss area or ablation area. The altitude at which these two zones meet is called the equilibrium line on the glacier. It's a very important point. The glaciers, as they move, they don't just move snow and ice. They also transport debris. Um, the black lines you can see are where glaciers have joined together from different valleys and are moving their lateral moraines forward. And on the right-hand side, you can see these moraines, all the gravel and rocks that have been moved forward by the glaciers and scoured out uh, by the glaciers. In summer, when the glaciers are losing water, it comes out as melt streams. And you've heard about braided streams in the first talk. And they flow across the glacier forefield that will eventually be covered by vegetation if glaciers are lost. So the glaciers are accumulating snow in winter. Here you can see the snow falling. And then in summer, they are losing some of that mass. And this continues year after year. But as the climate starts to warm, you get an imbalance in those two processes, that the loss of ice and snow exceeds the accumulation. And that's what you see on the right-hand side, where we now have climate warming in contrast to stable climate on the left, and you can see water flowing out. It flows not just along the surface of the glacier, but also underneath from these moulins, these channels that go down through the ice. And you can see the water flowing out over the moraines and create, helping to create some of the moraines as it moves debris across the, the glacial forefield. As that happens, the equilibrium line moves further back, higher up the, the mountain, and the whole volume or the mass balance of the glacier decreases. This is a process we see occurring throughout the Arctic. 